Welcome to the Pathi demonstration of automatic solar gas cutter with ESP32 and also SMS alert. Here we have the features uh, for SMS alerting purpose like two sensors with the three parameter ab uh, abnormal conditions. One is rain sensor whenever the rain was detected and the rain percentage above 45 centimeters it will send the message alert to the register phone number with the help of this GSM module. We are using A6 GSM module and the next humidity and temperature from this DHT double two. So from here we get the digital humidity and temperature and uh, whenever the temperature is above 40 degrees centigrade send the SMS alerts and coming to the humidity above 75 percent it will send the message alerts. So like three message alerts for the three abnormal conditions and also parallelly the system will control the robot movement in forward motion whenever the obstacle detects if the obstacle is less than the 50 centimeters then the robot will change the direction and will check the obstacle again for obstacle again if there is no obstacle so then it will move forward and coming to the grass cutter so we can control it manually here the, the total power supply is getting from this uh, to 11.1 volts 2600 milliamps lithium ion battery which is rechargeable so in our project we are going to recharge that with the help of this solar panel uh, the solar panel directly connected to the battery through this charging circuit uh, during the night times if uh, the solar panel po uh, power is not available then we can charge a battery from the transformer for that just disconnect the solar panel from here and connect the transformer at this T slot and on the power supply to the transformer so which will step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts AC now the battery is charging to the transformer whether uh, solar panel or transformer the charging time for the battery to be fully charged is 6 hours minimum 8 hours maximum due to uh, during that time we should keep on the charger for the battery once the time completes you can disconnect that if the battery is getting fully charged below the 6 hours only no need to worry about that this charging circuit will block the current flow from the transformer to the battery whenever the battery is become the high potential so while demonstration connect the solar panel to the charging circuit so here the solar panel it is a 12 volt 5 watt solar panel uh, that is sufficient to charge a battery uh, like 6 hours it will take minimum when the play when we place this uh, cage under the sunlight for continuous 6 hours full sunlight and uh, the operating voltage for our electronic gadgets is 5 volts in our project so that is ESP32 and DST11 ultrasonic sensor LCD display and uh, rain sensor and GSM modem so these are the consumer 5 volts power supply to step down the to regulate the 12 volts 11.1 volts that is 12 volts maximum which is coming out from this battery pack to regulate that to 5 volts we are using the LM2596 voltage regulator which we placed on this battery pack so it, it will take 12 volts 11.1 volts DC and provide us the constant 5 volts DC output we are providing that at this breadboard so below this solar panel we can see the breadboard which we attached over here so this will distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout that and from there we are going to distributing that to the input and output modules so let me explain the input modules ultrasonic sensor rain sensor DST double one sensor and GSM module are the main input in our project output modules are like GSM will act as the input and output LCD is the output module and DC motors through the L293D motor driver so we have interfaced the two DC motors so these two DC motors attached to the my uh, ESP32 using this L293D motor driver which can control the direction of this vehicle uh, whenever the obstacle detects it will take the left direction no obstacle keep on moving forward on LCD display one continuously we can see the status so let us see demonstration the very first step is keep the battery under fully charged then after there we can see the on off switch so this is the on off switch for the total kit so forward on backward off when we on that we can see the welcome message on the LCD display along with parameter values So welcome message so it will keep on moving the obstacle detects it will take the left direction 
अगर आपसे डी रिच विल टेक द रिट डायरेक्ट कॉट नाउ लेट एस सी द आउटपुट ऑन एल सी डिस्प्ले रोबोट इज रनिंग नाउ actually before uh, on the kit we need to insert a sim card right so this is gsm modem we should insert a valid sim card initially the first step is keep the battery under full charge the next step is insert the uh, sim card into the gsm modem as shown in this manner like a nano sim card not preferred so micro sim card so we should place this micro sim card this one is a push to lock and push to unlock so now it is lock it should have sms balance or main balance other than geo sim card you can insert any like hl vi or bsnl other than uh, geo after inserting that sim card now on the power supply to that so welcome message initially and uh, then after the gsm modem will get the signal for the confirmation you can make a call to this sim card so after 5 to 6 seconds you can make the input to the range sensor So the obstacle detects, then the robot is changing direction. What a double spin! So you can see the distance also. Right. So whenever the rain level is increases 45 centimeters, then we will get the message alert. Wipe off. So the message alerts will get rain alert and come to the humidity also. For increasing the humidity. we need to increase the temperature so here at this one we can blow the hot air near the humidity sensor so the humidity will be increased so if you didn't get any sms like you can just reset the system this is the reset switch So there is one more process for sim card uh, signal checking on this and hold the reset switch hold it till the blinking rate of led will be slow down we can see one yellow light is blinking very fast initially once the gsm modem got the signal the blinking rate will be slow down right now it is slow down right for the confirmation you can make a call till that we should hold this reset switch and now we can release so we got the signal so you can make a call to the sim card you will get the ringtone wait so we got the message alert right so then you can wipe out this like humidity also we can blow the air, air on this sensor you can increase the humidity now let me increase the humidity Let's. I got the middle of it also. Right. 